One, two. Ta da! Oh my god! Oh my god, these are beautiful. Oh my god! 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 Hello, honey. So, you guys have asked over and over again about my closet tour. But look at my closet, dude. It's so freaking, it's too tight to fit you in there. I'm bringing my closet to you. My favorite part of my closet. My shoes. I love shoes. I love it so much. I want to like sleep with them when I talk to them. All of these shoes have so many memories. I can look at them and think about which job interviews I had, good dates, bad dates, fights. I actually got in a really good fight with these Jessica Simpsons. You can see the b I kicked right there. I will never get rid of these because I took it off Cardi B style, but I'm so cheap. I like actually held onto it and put it back on and strapped it. I'll never forget. <laughs> Before we get to all these beautiful children that I didn't have to give birth to, I want to actually show you my newest delivery that I just received from The Real Real. Real Real, thank you for sponsoring this video. No, like seriously, I'm so excited. Thanks for doing this. The Real Real is basically a luxury consignment store for Real Real. I've been obsessed with it since they first started. They were a website first, then they turned into an app, and now they're a store in LA and New York. Lucky me. Most of my things I shop from The Real Real because it's basically all luxury items for a discount, up to 90% off at times. I'm Asian. I feel better when I shop with a discount. I have found amazing Lan Van shoes, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. Beautiful purses, watches, earrings. Oh, well, these earrings are from my mom. A lot of my aunts have shopped in Vietnam or overseas, and they bring back things to me saying that it's luxury. No, they're not designer, they're actually faux designer. But The Real Real has a whole team. They authenticate everything that they have so that you know it's real. They actually still have the dust bags, they have the labels. I love The Real Real, it's everything. I think I should work there. And, 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 if you have any designer items that you wanna get rid of, you can actually sell it to The Real Real and they'll take care of it for you. Now you can either sell it by bringing it into the shop or they have a white glove service where they have somebody come and take a look at it and price it for you and get you all situated so all you have to do is just release the item and they sell it. I've purchased Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Gucci. What are you doing? You wear my earring. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> How did you see that I wore your earrings? That's my earring. A long time ago, you stole it. My most prized collection of Mama Mai's jewelry. So this is between us until she sees this video. These three gems, three of them are real, and one of them is a costume one. Mom, you, how many years has it been that you haven't yeah, seen it? Yeah, 20 years already. I've hid these earrings for 20 years and you're just seeing- I have an emporium. What? That's the name of the store, emporium. No, you got these at Cache. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I bought Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Gucci. Tamara bought me something from The Real Real and it was such a beautiful pair of designer sunglasses. That's why it's so important to make sure that they are authentic. If you click the link below, you get to shop The Real Real with an additional $25 off. From me to you. There was one comment from one of our fam members I could not miss because it was in all caps. Get Wit Beauty, you asked for the shoe collection. So I'm listening, girlfriend. This shoe collection is for you. And guess what delivery just arrived? Are you ready? I haven't even opened it yet. Are you ready? Move it, kids. We got a new baby in town. Thank God I'm not a mother. Ta-da! My delivery from the real real. Okay. I spent about three hours on the Real Real shopping through all of their shoes. And I know it isn't the season for boots this summer, but I like preparing myself because I'm a big boot fan. They're very considerate about the way that they ship their beautiful goods to you. Great packaging um, to make sure that nothing gets squashed. Everything is legit. Like you're not getting something crazy that was made of goats. Okay, these, oh my God, they're my Givenchy boots. The reason why I picked these boots is because it's a beautiful shade of fall that I don't own in any of my shoes. By the way, I have about maybe over 400 pairs of shoes. This is only one part of the closet here, but I don't have a lot of boots. I only have maybe about... <laughs> I... <laughs> Shut up, Paul. I only have about maybe 13 boots and I need more. <laughs> Are you ready? Here they are. One, two. Ta da! Oh, oh, oh. These are fing gorgeous. Oh my God. Oh my God. These are beautiful. Guys, 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 guys. Look at everything. First of all, they're a wedge. 
You know how boots are, ladies. Sometimes you get really tired walking and then they make your feet sweat because they're so hard to stabilize yourself. These are a wedge underneath a fold with a little bit more of a cowboy flap to it. What I love about this is that it hides my skinny ankles, which I don't always love. You could have cankles and wear these and it'll be just fine. Nobody's gonna judge them. Look at this forest green. Bam! Bam! No, don't kiss them, they're suede. Whenever you have suede shoes, always spray them before you leave the house. Always. They shall sue sp they shall sue spray. They shall s they shall sue spray. <laughs> I hate myself. They sell shoe sprays yeah! so that you can lock in the suede because if any sprinkle of water or some of your boba tea gets on this, you're By the way, these are my Adidas's by Pharrell. How dope are these? These are my favorite sneaks. They're the most comfortable shoes ever. Okay. <gasps> I need lotion, lotion! That's the one thing about boots. Make sure you have lotion for your knees. Can somebody bring me lotion? Just something that looks like lotion. Oh my God. Was anybody going to tell me these are my knees before I started shooting? Oh my God, this is so disgusting. Okay, okay. Don't get your greasy hands on the suede. Oh my God. Oh my God. They look amazing. Walking into Trader Joe's, reaching for the snap peas. Pushing the cart. Look at the boots when I walk away. Don't they make my butt look good? Oops, I dropped something. Guys, these are amazing. I'm gonna have to put some makeup on my mosquito bite. But other than that, I think they're great. Kids, say hello to your new sister. Wait, Roger Vivier. Vervier? I don't know this. <laughs> this reminds me of a comment that I actually read on one of our videos by our super fan, Giovanna Castilla. You asked how you can dress nice or more luxurious on a budget because you don't know what to shop for, you don't know how to mix and match, and obviously not everybody has a budget where you can always buy designer things. Giovanna, let me tell you, I own a lot of shoes from non-designer brands. Like, these are my favorite nude pumps from Steve Madden. Great denim shoes by Just Fab. I think you should always mix high and low, and I think that if you can, save up to buy great staple items because designer shoes don't break down as quickly as some of those other cheaper shoes that you can buy for under 50. As you saw in that one video where Mama Mai had her makeover. A shoe from Ginny, she threw it away for a long time. Those were, I'm not gonna name the brand, but they were cheaper shoes and they shed leather all over my friend's table. That's ugly. <laughs> oh my, Ginny gonna tell you. Luxury brands do offer better quality. They're made of genuine leathers that are stronger, Italian binding, which Italians are queens at shoes. And so I think staple items you should invest in, nude heels, that's something you're always going to wear, solid knee-high boots that are comfortable, a wedge is usually important, but knee-highs will always be fashionable, and invest in belts. Belts instantaneously change your outfits and can make a dress from TJ Maxx look expensive by wearing just a great Chanel belt or a Gucci belt. I hope that helps. And the real real is best for it too. This is a brand I've never heard of. It's Roger Vivian, Vivier? Is that an R or an N? Are you ready? Oh my God, they're my houndstooth boots. Oh my God, oh my God, okay. Oh my God, okay. Guys, guys, first of all, they're pony hair, okay? Let's just start there. Pony hair houndstooth, look closely. The best part about the boot is that it's mixed pattern houndstooth. These are small printed houndstooth, so it doesn't overwhelm the fabric of whatever you're wearing. Oh my God, they feel like butter on my legs. Oh my God, they feel so good. Guys, 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 look at this heel. First of all, the heel is just enough to keep them walking, like it's not gonna wear you out after a good night of clubbing. You can wear this with a trench coat, with a white mini skirt, wear it with a black maxi, with black leggings, brown leggings, off-white or cream, red, burgundy, a wine. There's so many colors that you can wear with this outfit. These are fabulous. Obviously, they're not gonna go with this outfit. I, I, I really love the mixed pattern. That's what's great about it. So soft. I love these. Let's see what else we got. Guys, <laughs> we saved the best for last. They are fabulous and they're gonna go with so many outfits. You're not ready. I'm not ready. There are three designer brands that I stick to with shoes. They have lasted me over 10 years, some of these shoes. Also, they just have a look, a signature look and a feel and a fit that is incomparable to anything else. To be really honest with you, I can't wear Jimmy Choo's. Jimmy Choo's are too narrow for me. I also can't wear Manola Blancs. Those are like super painful for me. But the shoes I do like for anybody who likes luxury shoes that are comfortable, Fendi's, 
are everything. These are my Fendi boots that I bought off the real real, by the way, and I've owned these for maybe about eight years. Is it eight years ago? <laughs> Something like that. Really long time ago. Look how cute these are. These are really, really tall. Look at how they make my calves look. They make me look like I just worked out. Don't mind the mosquito bites. Those are from a recent vacay. And look at just that heel. Look how beautiful an art deco that is, you know? So Fendi's are super comfortable, and they always have enough width for any size foot. They're just a little hard to take off. <laughs> you should wear a sock. Here's another pair of Fendi's. I bought these in Italy and they were on sale and they were a beautiful spring shoe that was offered in the winter. See what I'm talking about? The toe is wide. They're so comfortable around your toe base, your instep, and your cankle. How cute is that? So Fendi's are one of my favorites and then my second fave are Lon Vons. They're super balanced. These are wicked ankle boots. The reason why is because they have a supreme platform inside. So even though my foot sits, floats right here on top, I look majestic. I love wearing them with mini skirts, especially pleated mini skirts, just cause it has a like wicked schoolgirl look with the pointed heel. The little lacy tie allows my ankle to have a little bit more volume so it doesn't look like I have a too bit skinny of an ankle. When you put them together, guys, you look a little dominatrix. It's like you're walking into the office, but you might do something else on the desk besides writing notes. You know what I mean? You might meet me over at the water cooler, but we're not just gonna be talking. Do you know what I'm saying? We might go out to lunch together and take the back of the car instead of the front. Does that make sense? What else can you do in an office? Book a conference room, okay. What do you do in conference rooms? Um, what do you been insinuating? <laughs> These shoes are very inviting. I'm here to play. <laughs> Who care? So these are my Lon Vons, and then the other Lon Vons I have that I love. Oh, I love these sandals so much. The reason why I love them is, again, that secret platform, but look how smart they are with this woven braided fabric here that gives you a little bit more of a tropical look so it doesn't look like an actual, just like a standard wooden wedge. This heel is the secret here too because there's so much width to it. It allows you to feel balanced and you don't feel like you can't last through the night. See this part of your shoe here? When you're walking, all the pressure when you're walking goes here. It's not from the heel, it's not from your toe, it's here. So this is very important to be supported. Now, this here, it's a little smaller and it's a really tall heel. So I did feel the pressure here on my instep. What I did, I put a piece of moleskin here. So moleskin, if you haven't heard of it, it's just this soft cushiony fabric that is usually used to buffer the sound on mics. And I put it right there so that the base of my foot has a little bit more absorption and I can wear these honestly from day to night and I have. Okay, look at already my leg. Look how sexy, look how sexy my leg is in these. See this tan strap here? I actually dyed this to match my skin. And when I put it on, I needed a little bit more color. So what I did, folks, is I took a little bit of body spray that I use for my body that's in my color and I put it on just my hand and I took a blush brush and I spot treated this tiny strap and was able to dye it. A great brand to use that's inexpensive is Sally Hansen. Use Sally Hansen body spray, I think it's fantastic. Or honestly, Kim Kardashian sent me her entire body makeup set and it's flawless. You just need a really great quality body spray that matches your skin. These are beautiful glitter Oxford. I call them my Elton Johns. Look at, and they're tiny hound's tooth in the center too. You can actually see it from the side. I love these with a great trouser pant or even a denim jean. Ugh, how dope are these? For my petite sisters out there, pointy shoes really help elongate your foot. So if this was rounded, it would kind of cut your foot off. Whereas the point kind of allows your foot to continue on and gives you a lengthier leggy look. Kids, I feel so bad that I'm not giving love to everybody. I honestly don't treat my shoes like this. I take care of my shoes so well and I have a place for them all over my house. They're never like stacked up on this, but I'm just a little excited. I do want to show you some love though towards my less expensive shoes. Fam, these shoes here. A super wicked Dolce Vita shaped heel. Platform, wide heel, you've got rivets, you've got grommets, and you've got a crocodile skin print. These are Paper Fox and they range about $29.99 and I get so many compliments everywhere I go with these. Another shoe that I just got in for summer that I really love, if you've noticed, snake print is super in. So check these out. They're a mule 
with gold and snake print combination, a beautiful heel that's not too tall, and it's got a gold lined tip so that your toes float right above a gold palette. These are from Erica Jane. She sent these to me. Thank you, Erica, I love you so much. These are Shoe Dazzle, and I think they range about $30 to $40. How cute are these? I can't wait to wear these out. I'm gonna pack these on my trip. It doesn't matter how much you spend on your shoes. Just know what to expect from what you spend. These are Aldo. These are perfectly great white cowboy boots. I've worn these to Coachella. I just have to know that these will probably last me one to two years because the leather isn't going to be as great of quality as like my Fendi's. Does that mean that you have to only buy Fendi? No, buy shoes you like and then invest in great statement shoes that can last you longer. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. We are going to open my beloved Shanene's that I ordered from The Real Real. When I saw them, I thought long walks in Europe, going out for a cup of tea with my boyfriend in London. I also thought about tight leather skirts with shiny legs and just this boot as my statement pop of color. And I just felt like money. Here they are. Die. Die! Desist. Oh my God, they even shift. It's like they're winking at me. I gotta put these on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, the leather is so soft. And look how darling this little strap here. It looks, do you see what I mean about, it feels, it has like a British take to it. I love that it cups right below my knee. Oh my gosh. And look at, I love the movement that it has too with the shell. I'm so excited. This is amazing. Guys, I'm so ready for fall. Why is it still summer? These beautiful boots are definitely over $1,000 and I got them for $400 off of The Real Real in pristine condition. Thanks to The Real Real for sponsoring this video. Get to shopping right away. Remember, you get $25 off just by using this code below and have fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below. Thank you. I love you guys.